Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, I wanted to shoot a video real quick. I know it's the upcoming detailing season and I shot a video already um, about, you know, getting you guys ready, you know, making sure you think about certain things. But I wanted to, I wanted to add, but I wanted to do it in a separate video. I want you guys to be on the lookout for a customer that, well actually this is just a, a certain type of customer. So everybody's different, right? And everybody has different knowledge or lack thereof of our industry. Most people <clears throat> don't understand what the terminology means or how to go from a dirty car to a clean car. And most people know the difference between dirty and clean and that is all. So when it comes to a, a customer basically being turned off or sticker shocked at your pricing, I want you to not put your head down and your tail between your legs and run away because the customer says no to your $50 detail or whatever because they feel like it's too costly. What I want you to do is I want you to qualify that customer. And what I mean by that is I want you to have a conversation with them about what they'd like to see done so that you can ensure that the package that you have quoted them for includes everything that they want but not all the extra stuff that you may feel like you need to do to make some money. My point is to most people a full detail is an exterior wash and an interior vacuum. They don't know any difference. To you, that basic ser service should start at $35 and more, and you know, go up to whatever it is you feel like you're worth or whatever worth you've earned is really how we should put it. So, what I'm saying is, if you quote someone, someone a price, be sure it's what they need, not what you want them to buy, if that makes sense. If a customer is hesitant to spend money, dissect it, ask them questions. Be sure that the money that the customer wants to spend doesn't make sense for what they want, or vice versa. I have so many people telling me people are cheap, people are this, people are that. The bottom line in business is they have money in their pocket. You want to take it from their pocket and put it in your pocket. That is how it works. And I'm not saying be shady or, um, you know, be deceitful or uh, mis misleading or misdirecting. In fact, you want to you want to be as honest as possible across the board. But at the same time they've got money to spend and they want to spend it. You have to help them do that. And if you're overselling them and pitching them an overinflated price based on what they actually need or want, you're going to lose. You're going to turn them off. They're going to shut down. They're going to back out of the deal completely. So just be sure that their expectation and their budget warrants what you quote them. It's okay to have a blanket of preset packages, but those packages don't work for everybody. They don't work for every situation. So just be sure that your customer's budget, their expectation and reality are in check for what they expect to pay. And in most cases, if what they expect, their budget and all of that isn't up to snuff, if you can help them better understand your recommendation, you're far better off or you're, you're, you're far more likely 
to actually get that business and to upsell the customer and make more money. So qualify these customers, guys. Don't, don't take no for an answer without a fight, period. Because you don't know after that initial quote if that was what the customer actually needs and or wants or even can afford. I can tell you that I can't afford it is bullshit because if they are willing to purchase a luxury service, they have a few more bucks than they let on. That's the bottom line. People don't, people do not, I mean, I'm sure they're the exception to the rule. There's exception to every rule. But for the most part, people are not going to seek out a luxury service if they can't afford to do it, period. Um, it's been my experience. The class of people who can't afford it are far fewer than the people who can't afford it but just don't want to spend the money. So your job is to help them spend the money, period. Um, again, honesty is the, is the key. That's the problem for most people. They just can't handle the truth. But that's it. Be honest with the customer and the customer will be your customer and you can grow your business from that one customer because they're gonna feel good about the knowledge that you brought to the table. They're gonna feel good about you doing the job. And you know, there's also the people who just don't care. They don't care what you're gonna do or what you're gonna say. They've got $20 that they wanna spend. Fine, tell them, look, for 20 bucks, I mean, it's one thing if you have no time to make that 20 bucks or to deal with that person. But if you're twiddling your thumbs, you're not working eight hours a day at minimum, five days a week, take every dollar you can. Because every dollar is more than no dollars. That's bottom line. So. Um, before you shut her down and walk away, qualify that customer and make sure that that customer understands what you're willing to provide and make sure that you understand what that customer wants and what that customer needs. That's all I got for you right now, guys. 813-846-4406. I'm sure you guys know it by heart by now, but if you need me, let me know. I can't help if you don't call. Have a good one, guys.